Council member Matthew Eugene allocates $200,000 to PS217 for a new auditorium sound system. Councilman Matthew Eugene has taken time out of his day and he's such a big fan of PS217 and I know he has a seriously busy day and I know he's taking time just he wants to say a couple of things to our PS217 community, uh, community. so at this time Matthew Eugene please. Thank you very much, uh, Pasibar Bania. Good morning. Oh, wow, I see, I feel the energy. So I'm going to be very brief. Uh, my name is uh, Matthew Eugene, and I'm uh, your council member, the council member of District 40, and it is a great honor for me to be here. I'm going to be very brief because I got five graduation this morning at the same time. So we didn't have, in medicine and science, we start cloning people, but we don't get to the point they can clone me yet. So, I want to take the opportunity to thank the principal, Principal Robert Bonilla, for his leadership and everything that he's doing to provide to our children the best education possible. Put your hands together for him, please. He couldn't do that by himself. And I want to take the opportunity to say I'm grateful. I'm thankful that I am also to the wonderful staff that is helping him day in and day out. I used to be a teacher myself when I was in my country, before I went to medical school. I know what it is, doing the sacrifices to ensure that all children are educated, and become the leaders of tomorrow. Let's put our hands together for the wonderful staff of PS217. I want to commend the parents also. All the parents. Because I'm a parent also. I raised two children. Now they are good. They are professional now. And I know the sacrifices that you are doing also. Many of you, you are doing two jobs. Some of the time, you don't have time to take care of yourself just to ensure that your children are educated. What you are doing, I say that all the time, is not only for your children, it is for our society. It is for New York City. It is, it is for this great country that we all love, United States of America. You are doing the sacrifices to prepare and protect the future of our country. Put your hands together for all the parents too. And to all of you graduates, I'm so proud of you. You make it. That means I am convinced that you will be able to make it every time that you try. Congratulations. Now it is my honor and my privilege to present some citation from the great city of New York to some of the students, and I would ask the principal to come to assist me. We want to call Amelia Azad, right? Congratulations. Mohamed Asadov. Mohamed. Mohamed Asif. And I hope that I will pronounce this one right. Denis Kashudor, right? All right. To all of you, congratulations. And now let me conclude by saying that I am a strong supporter and advocate for education. Without education, there is no country, no future, no society. And I, I want to say that again. Children, please stay in school. And parents, please do everything that you can do to provide the best education to our children. I was not born in the United States, like many of the parents. I was born in a beautiful island. 
But I had the opportunity, the privilege, to have an education. I'm not the most intelligent one. But the education, everywhere that I go, I carry the education with me. And it's going to be there as long as I want to live, to be, to be alive. To the children, the education that you are receiving now is the key that you need to succeed everywhere where you're going to be. And again, to all of you, the team, parents, teachers, assistant teachers, the principal, and all the great staff of tours, PS217, thank you so very much and congratulations. <laughs> to show my support to PS217, as I do several times, I, I usually give some, I usually give, <laughs> it, is, it is a tradition and obligation to me every time that we vote the budget and the city council to ensure that I secure some funding, some money for PS217. In the past, I've given a lot of money to PS217 because I believe in what this good school is doing for our children. I'm going to be very brief. As you know, my name is Matthew Eugene. And I'm your council member, I'm your humble servant. But I just want to take the opportunity to take a wonderful principal, Dr. Samerson. Put your hands together for me. Thank you. He did a wonderful job in getting our children. And I want you to put your hands together also for the wonderful people who are part of the staff of PS. And for all the graduates, to all of you, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, the guy, you see, he's ready, right? He's ready. Now, you know, I always, it is my obligation to support PS92 for the wonderful job that all of them, they are doing for our children. And that will go to my next graduation, but I just want to make the presentation of a small check as a token of appreciation for what they are doing. A check for $135,000. Thank you, man. Thank you, Councilman Eugene, as usual. We are always grateful. You know, from since I've been here, 
Councilman Eugene has been supporting this school, and because of him, we've been able to do a number of different things. The next big project is going to be the library. We have had the computer lab. So much he's been supporting us with, including our African dance presentation that our students to get involved with every Friday. It's because of the donations from Councilman Eugene that we are able to do that, and the kids love it. Every Friday we have African dance. So I'm, I know he's going to continue to support the school Absolutely. in whatever we do. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. allocates $265,000 to PS399 for a refinished basketball court and remodeled classroom space. We're now going to have our councilman, Matthew Eugene, join us on the stage so you can see us convert to our student community. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. As you know, my name is Mark Eugene, and I'm the New York City Council Member representing the district where you are at right now. And it is a great honor and privilege for me to have the opportunity to serve you, your children, and everybody in New York City. Today, I'm so honored and proud to be here for many reasons. Many, many reasons. Because every time that I'm invited to go to the vacation of children, I feel so proud. And I have to take the time to come over here to thank the people who work every single day, every single day, to give to our children the key of success, to give to our children the foundation that they need to become the leaders of tomorrow. For that reason, I would like you to put your hands together for somebody who every single day do everything, do everything that she has to ensure that our children are here today. Put your hands together for this for She couldn't do that by herself. That's the good thing. It doesn't matter who you are, elected official, president, governor, man, there is nothing you can do by yourself. You need a building, you need a big team. And I want also to ask you to put your hands together for assistant principal program and grant. You know, I used to be a teacher myself in my country before I went to the university. And I love teaching. This is not a profession. Our teachers, they are doing a wonderful job. Each one of us who can remember when we were in school, some teachers that we admire, we love, who have made a difference in our life. The teachers, they are shaping the future of this country. Put your hands together for them, please. All the children, all the staff, and the And to all the graduates of today, I am part of you. Your parents, your teachers, we are all part of you. You need the right thing. For that, from the bottom of my heart, on behalf of the great city of New York, congratulations. I'm not to conclude by saying that. Many of you here, you were probably born on Sunday United in cities like myself. But it doesn't matter where we were born. We know that education has no boundaries. Education is something that you got in your mind inside yourself. And you will keep it wherever you want to be. And children, when you got a strong education, there is nothing you won't be able to do. And nobody will be able to stop you, achieve your goal, and become successful. The 
Again, congratulations to you. Make sure you stay in school, you listen to your parents, and you listen to your teachers. I did. I came from a, from a family of 10 children who attended the family. Five brothers, five sisters. And I'm talking to you, children. Thank God, all of us, we are doing very good. Very good. You know why? We had a treat. And I'm going to tell you what it is. We used to listen to our parents. We used to listen to our teachers. And we did respect them. And what I'm talking about, your mom, your grandma, your papa, they know what I'm talking about. When we were kids, when that young man would say, hey, you see that here, we used to listen. Yes or no? Yes. When mommy and daddy said that, you know what? Go sit down and take your book, we used to do it. Last year, I gave some fun menu to the school, and I continue to do the same thing. We have voted two days ago the budget of New York City. And I want to let you know that today I'm pleased to present a check of Thank you very much. Good afternoon. As you know, my name is Matthew Eugene, and I'm the New York City Council member representing District 40. That means the district where you are at right now. It is a great honor for me to be here to join your parents, your teachers, the principal and the superintendent to come to celebrate with all of you graduate of uh, 2019. I won't be able to stay too long because I got to go to City Hall. We got to vote. We have a steady meeting. But I want to come over here to see to all of the graduates on behalf of the great city of New York. And on my behalf, from the bottom of my heart, to all of you, congratulations! I want to congratulate you because you did the right thing. And I know that it was not easy. I know that many of your friends didn't get this. And I know you had to go through peer pressure, negativity, and other people who want to make you believe that you cannot make it. But you were focused. You have demonstrated that you can make it. And I'm convinced that you did it. You make it today, you will always be able to make it if you stay focused, if you continue to invest in your education. And again, congratulations. I am proud of you, your parents are proud of you, your teachers, they are all proud of you. Let's put our hands together for them again, please. <laughs> and I want to say that if you succeed today, it is because of a team of dedicated people, wonderful people, who every single day come to the school to make the sacrifices for you to succeed. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I am going to be very brief. My name, as you know, is Matthew G. And I am the New York City Council member representing the District Forum. That's not the district where you are at right now. I want to start by just to take the opportunity to express my gratitude and my thanks 
to a wonderful team that is doing a wonderful job educating our children, the leaders of tomorrow. And I want you to join me to put your hands together for the leader of that team, Principal Dewana Dan. And I want you to give a big round of applause also to Ms. Galvin, Ms. Denzi, and Ms. Remy. And I would be remiss if I didn't take the opportunity also to thank somebody that I appreciate and I respect way before I come to this country. Somebody who worked very hard for you, Mr. Boothworth. Thank you so very much, uh, Isabel Williams. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. I'm going to be very, very brief because I got five graduation at the same time. And I just want to say that my name is Matthew Eugene. And I'm the New York City Council member representing the District 40. That means the district where you are at right now. It is a great honor for me to be here this morning for several reasons. I want personally, on behalf of the city of New York, on my behalf, and on behalf of all the parents also, to thank and to commend a wonderful person, a wonderful public servant, who is doing an awesome job educating our children. Put your hands together, please. 
for Principal William. And I know that to do any job, if you want to do it perfectly and appropriately, you need a team with you. You need people to help you. And I know she couldn't do what he has done for achieving by herself. And that's the reason why I want you also to join me to show our gratitude to all the wonderful members of the staff of PS245. Put your hands together for them, please. And to the parents, being a parent myself, I know what it took me to educate my children. I know that you made a lot of sacrifices to ensure that your children receive the best education possible. And I was born in a beautiful island. It was not easy. And I know what my mother and father did for me to receive an education. You are hard. Some of you doing two jobs. Don't even have time to take care of yourself. Just because you want your children to be educated and to succeed. For that, I'm not going to ask everybody to put your hands together for the power of also. And to the graduate of 2019, you look so wonderful. And today is a great day for you. To all of you, congratulations. <laughs> so you know, I used to be a teacher myself before I went to medical school. This is a normal job, a normal job. And this is something very important for our society. The teachers, the principal, you, the parents, what you are doing by coming together as a team to ensure that your children get the best education possible, you are securing and preparing the future of the city of New York, the future of the United States of America. For that, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. Now it is my honor and my privilege to present some certificate from the Great City of New York to some of the students who did it very well. All of you deserve a certificate. All of you deserve a reward. But we're going to present some reward to some students. And I want uh, the, to ask uh, the principal to assist me to do that. Would you please?